I guess we'll do a quick preview here. So Grim, I want to tell that story, but I think I want the assistance of Zalmut for that one because it'll be better for it. Um, he prepped that whole thing, uh, but I will tease it a little bit. So there is a game called Rifts, Savage Worlds, mm-hmm. and it's like set far in the future. Everybody is super powerful. Yep. Um, this is definitely a high-end power campaign. Sassy was an angel with psionic powers, and I was a techno mage. I, uh, <laughs> gosh, I need to remember what I could do. A techno wizard, that's right. So I could make gadgets and kind of magically juice them. And um, I could kind of make uh, people better with my machines. Uh, you get like three devices, and I was able to like boost stats, make environmental protection shield, which doesn't sound flashy, but I could literally be in the middle of the sun and be okay. If yeah, it were yeah. up at the time. DJ's saying she uh, loves uh, Techno Wizards. Nice. Always makes me happy when uh, my people, these are my people. <laughs> <laughs> they know what I'm talking about. Yep. Yep. Yes. And um, anyway, there, uh, Zalmut had engineered a uh, situation where there is this death race uh, founded Murder by Thon. a bunch of mind. Mm-hmm. What are they called? Uh, juicers. Juicers, uh, juicers. yes. Now, juicers are, um, let's see, uh, Cliff Notes version, a bunch of people who have been enhanced. Think of Captain America, but on steroids. Yes, exactly. Um, they, they've been super enhanced. However, at the cost of their own life, at any moment, they could fritz out and die. So they tend to live every moment to the fullest. And so they created this race, which is like a death race. In fact, it was an entire series of events which would accumulate, accumulate at a race. Yeah, Bane on crack and speed. Right, DJ. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if Bane wasn't cracked out enough, um, <laughs> this would be... <laughs> definitely. Bonebreaker knows what's up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this, this makes me so happy. Um, anyway, uh, it came, uh, the, the uh, grand finale was this race. And I, I think... Uh, did we each have our own... Um, we didn't actually have... Were we on vehicles, or were we just on our own two feet? That's awesome, TJ. We were on our own two feet. Yeah, we were on our own two feet. However, I think I installed, like, some rocket skates or something crazy like that in the race. You did. It was hilarious. <laughs> I was like, technically speaking. Okay. So, the story, that story will be involving those events. Seven. Um, So, I will tease that for next time. I'm sure Zalman would be more than happy to jump in here at some point and assist. I'm sure. Um... Excellent DM. Um, he, he really spoils us. He's, he's super good. He okay, but guy. for for today's mental adventure, uh, Sassy and I uh, <laughs> are in college. And it's around Christmas. And we're going to do a white elephant gift exchange. Now, mm-hmm. um, Sassy, what were you doing for your job at the time? You're in college and you're correcting tests like SAT. You're creating and proofreading those tests. Yeah, what was happening, it was called the Student Improvement Model Center, and I was a college student at the time, I think uh, second year, and we were making standardized tests according to district standards based by state. <laughs> yes, riveting stuff, right? Extreme. You can imagine. You can imagine the people in charge of this would be wild party animals, right? <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, <Woo! laughs> yes. Um, can you hear uh, the cats? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> such things as talking about their most recent yacht purchase and um, oh gosh, the stock yeah. market or whatever these people talk about. Anyway, so. They're Boring like, stuff says they're like yeah. we're, we're having a party. <laughs> We'd like you to participate. It'll be a white elephant gift exchange. It will be quite a droll. Uh, oh, so they we didn't uh... actually sound like that, but <laughs> no. you can imagine. Hey. <laughs> For uh, entertainment values, but they, they, we're not too far off the mark. So yeah. um, we didn't really, I didn't really know this at the time. All I knew was. Company party, Sassy's invited, she has a plus one, I'm coming to, and it's white elephant gift exchange. Like, and, okay, and this was like this early on fun. in our dating too. You know, what what should we do? So we had a few of these array with our friends, and so uh-huh. we had a few ideas. We had a bottle of pickled asparagus, which had already been given to us from a previous white elephant gift exchange, which I thought would be funny. 
Uh, yeah. We had a toilet bowl lid, which has been circled around multiple uh, <laughs> White Elephant gift exchanges. I, I swear that thing's going the rounds from all of our friends, the uh, traditional passing the of the toilet yes. uh, <laughs> seat. Um, and uh, Sassy, uh, oh, I don't no, remember. Faye what did was not the have actual. A arm. Not. Not, not at early. this point. Uh, this uh, this was after. Not, it, it had this was after. after. Yeah, yeah, this was after. We uh, I would say we were a good two years in at this point. Because Sassy was at her mm -hmm. apartment in Ames, I believe. Yep. You weren't in the dorms at this point any longer, I don't no, think. No, I had an apartment. Because I had to ride my bike there. Okay. So, uh, what was the gift, Sassy? Help me remember. Um... Uh, it was a bag full of marshmallows. Oh, yes! Uh, don't, don't go any further. Don't <laughs> nope. go any further than that. Okay. Nope. Bag full of marshmallows. Okay, that's right. Yeah. Um, which we put in a box. Uh -huh. And we wrap it up. <laughs> uh, now, a, a few things. What is the funnier way to... What's oh the best order to give this in? Because there's so much funny stuff here. So, these guys. I, I want to give you a good picture of, of these people. Now... You know, um, Mary Poppins, the original, the group of people who are in charge of the bank, those guys, <laughs> these were those people. Yeah. <laughs> these were the people we're going to go to this party for. And so we're poor college students. These guys are frou-frou, well-to-do business pe pe folk, all pretty much retired or semi-retired. And except we're going the, to their the, nice house. Boss, and, except for the, the, and, the person I was directly under. <laughs> he was cool. Anyway, they're they're well to do, and you know uh, they're all dressed up in their suits. And we didn't know any of this. We just knew White Elephant Party, which usually is an informal affair. Yeah. So we didn't have any wrapping paper even for the gift. So I'm just like, you know what? We'll just no. uh, ad lib this. So we took some newspaper and we wrapped it up in that. Now uh, we weren't really <clears throat> paying attention to the article that was actually on said no. piece of newspaper. We so remember, not. this is a this is a Christmas party, and it's White Element gift party. And the article that was perfectly centered on the top of this package was "Local orphanage gets robbed." <laughs> Merry Christmas! Uh, <laughs> whoops! Yeah. Whoops! Dingles. Okay. <laughs> so we go there, and uh, we start. Oh, we figure out pretty quickly that, you know, they start passing out cucumber sandwiches for this white elf and gift exchange. We kind of realize we're a little bit out of our element, a little bit out of our depth. Yes. Um, but I, I think we were the life of the party because... It... Oh, gosh. Uh, yeah. Because, <laughs> again, these guys are like cardboard. Uh, do you remember uh, what gifts they gave out, Sassy? I'm trying to remember. No, uh, books, uh, pens, and... Boring. Books, yeah. pens. Boring yeah, stuff. we did. Yeah, we did. Although I we love pens, with, but yeah. yeah. They they open up their, their gift. They're like, no, oh, what is this? They open it up and it's a bunch of marshmallows Empty and it's like <laughs> unlabeled. Unlabel there's a little thing. There's a little card on it. Yep. They're like, what is this? And then Sassy kind of very shyly explains what this is. And it is. There was a poem that I had written on there and I don't remember all of it, but um, basically. Oh, wait, wait. No, no. I think I remember it. Um, I hear that you've been naughty, so listen, here's a scoop. We're running low on coal this year, so you get snowman poop. And that's what the marshmallows were. <laughs> so he just had marshmallows in a Ziploc baggie with, I mean, this was like... So he's like... So I not even a me. full bag of marshmallows. Like a you're, little you're, teeny you're... tiny Ziploc baggie of marshmallows. <laughs> so you have gifted me a half-eaten bag of snowman poop. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> this was hilarious. And the thing is, is they laughed. Um, oh yeah, but the laugh was like I, this. <laughs> yeah, I just. I don't... <laughs> um, They're like they didn't get it. <laughs> yeah, they, they. It was yeah. It was totally not what what I expected. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> So yeah, uh, <laughs> that was um, that was that. Oh man! <laughs> so that's a that's kind of a short story, but that's funny. Oh my gosh! Oh my mm. goodness! That was I'm nuts. literally like wiping away tears here. Yeah. Oh, exactly. that was hilarious. <laughs> so far out of our element, man. Hmm. Ugh. 
Yeah, again, you, you just got to picture those old guys from uh, Mary Poppins that run the bank, and that was them, and that, that, was that just them. makes the whole thing that, all the all the funnier. That was them. 